Uh, last year, it was a huge leap of faith for Stacy and I to commit to putting on this event. Um, of course, we felt that the issues in our state, and we feel so strongly about our state, that we think it's, it's, re, it's worth um, doing annually. Uh, of course, we could not do this without the help of several people. Um, I would like to thank my family. Yeah, they, <laughs> and this obviously has taken a lot of time away, and um, they've had a lot of cold sandwiches and pizza, and, and so I uh, want to thank my family and my husband. I cannot tell you the countless hours he does in the background helping me. I would, of course, like to thank all of our speakers. I told you they come here, a lot of them come here on their own expense. They've come, traveled far, and uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you so much to our speakers. I would like to thank Dan Harvell in the back there. He's, Dan has uh, donated his photography services to this event, and he is a true patriot and exhibits a selfless dedication to his community. And I would like to thank Scott Cooper and the Cooper family uh, for covering the cost of our audiovisual services today and working closely with the, um, the AV team with the live streaming. Uh, he put in a lot of time in, into that event. And know that ever, the video archives of this will be on palmettopanel.com, so you can access them and share them with your friends. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> We're grateful to High Frontier for their help with this. And lastly, <laughs> I want to thank my co-host. <laughs> yeah. right. um, my, best, my, my best friend, Stacey Shea. Um, I'm very blessed to have her as my partner in all that we do. And she has, she has such a servant's heart and I know I can always count on her. She never lets me down. And I could never do this without her. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> I want to thank uh, my family, who also has gone without a lot of my time and attention. And um, the agreement that my husband and I make is that we're deeply committed to one another's goals, even if we're not involved in those goals. For example, my husband runs ultra marathons. I'm not going to be running 50 or 100 miles. <laughs> and I won't ask him to come to every conference I attend or co-chair. It seems fair to me. Um, but they've been very patient and understanding and, and supportive of that, and I couldn't have done it without them. I want to thank those of you in the audience who've chosen to commit your time, effort, and attention to what we have brought today. It puts you in a, a category of a very small number of people. Just coming to this today, taking notes, paying attention, think of how you can engage your lawmakers and, and your fellow citizens truly. This is the kind of people that we really need to be doing this work, and it's so very important. It's worth everything to be um, sacrificing our time for our future, for our state, and for our kids, and for our nation. And of course, I have to thank Diane as well. I want to tell you how we met. Um, I moved here from San Diego, where my husband was stationed in the Navy when he retired, and I really wanted to get involved in politics. I wasn't sure how to do that, and I, I knew I was really conservative, and I was excited to be moving to an all-red state after living in California for a number of years. So I, um, I registered to attend the Myrtle Beach Tea Party, and uh, I had been watching on C-SPAN, I think, Diane Belsim, who is the um, president of the <clears throat> excuse me, Lawrence County Tea Party. Somebody tagged her on Facebook, who was a friend of mine. I got to friend her, and that's how I got to actually know one person at the Myrtle Beach Tea Party where I drove down to. And she introduced me to Diane Hardy, who's, she was like, you know what? Everybody I meet says they're gonna do stuff. Are you actually gonna do things? Are you actually gonna help me? <laughs> Are you just going to be telling me you're going to help me? I was like, oh, no, no, no. 
I am not that person. I really want to get engaged and be active and involved. I wasn't sure exactly how much I was signing up for, <laughs> but um, I have to tell you that Diane inspires me every day. She's a force to be reckoned with. She is always coming up with new ways that we can encourage citizens and people to get involved and, and ideas that will help them to understand that they have the power. Jim will sometimes text me and say, oh no. <laughs> and I'll be like, I know it's coming today. <laughs> we speak every day and because of what she brings to the table, that's why this conference, she gave me a lot of credit, but I have to tell you, she did most of the work. She really did. So thank you all, and um, we look forward to doing this again next year.